Hello folks, Jaguars here for videohive.net. Thanks for your interest in this project and stay tuned for more projects from me. The exact idea behind this toolkit is to provide to the clients easily customizable platform, which is able to create uh, countless unique variations with uh, just a few clicks and all to be based on the client requirements. So I hope you will find it useful and you will enjoy working with it. In this tutorial, I'm going to show you the features of the toolkit and how to customize this project in a few easy steps. First of all, let's explore the project itself. If you go to the project panel, you will see two folders and one composition called Custom Parallax Promo Toolkit. If you want just uh, basic editing, you will need Edit This Folder only. To start with the customization, expand Edit This Folder. Then Open the scene that you want to edit by double click on the scene composition. Inside you will find all that you need to edit this scene. I'm gonna show you for what all of these layers are a little bit later in the tutorial. Now let's stick to the uh, text and placeholder editing. To change the text just double click on the text composition and type your new text here. If you want my advice, I suggest you to stick to the current design of the text. Now let's go back to the scene composition and to change the footage just double click on the placeholder composition and import your photo or video here. To do this go to file, import file and pick your desired file and click open. Then just drag and drop it from the project panel to the placeholder composition. If your footage or uh, photo needs uh, reframing or resizing, you can do it here in this composition. That's all about the text and footage changing. A quick tip on the audio here, uh, as you noticed in the um, project preview, uh, there are awesome sync between audio and video and if you want to keep that sync uh, for your project, just check the link in my project description directing to Audio Jungle Artist Sky Production uh, and his uh, track Inspired which is simply fantastic. After you get his track, uh, you just uh, need to go to edit this folder in the project panel, uh, right click on uh, Inspired Full Track by uh, Sky Productions and uh, then go to Replace Footage, after that click on File. Then browse for your uh, track saved on your computer and then click open. That's it, uh, now you have the perfect sync without uh, need to readjust it manually. Uh, and here comes the fun part, but if you need only text and placeholder changes, you're ready to render the project with these edits. Uh, if you want to use the full power of the project, we can continue from here. So uh, in every scene composition, uh, we have three layers called Scene Adjustments, Parallax Shape Selector and Textbox Shape Selector. Depending on your photo or footage, you may gonna need to change the point of interest to somewhere else than in the center. It's very very easy. You just have to go to the scene composition that you want to edit and then go to Scene Adjustments layer. Uh, open the Effect Controls if it's not open, choose Point of Interest click on the little crosshair and pick your new point of interest. It's easy as that. Of course there are a few more useful features here, because sometimes you may gonna need to change the text box position because you changed the point of interest earlier or you just want to move the text aside to make the footage more visible. Changing the text box position is using the same method as point of interest. This time go to text box position in effect controls, click on little crosshair and pick new text box position. You can also animate the point of interest and text box position. Click on the stopwatch and animate it as you wish. There are two more controls here, distance and mask size. With distance you can match the layers or to make the parallax effect weaker or stronger which brings more or less depth to the scene. Or with mask size you can uh, make parallax hole a little bit bigger or smaller to achieve different results. I'm gonna talk for um, 
parallax shape selector layer a little bit uh, later in the tutorial. So there are uh, one more layer with some useful features here. This uh, layer is called text box shape selector. Select it and go to effect controls. With just few clicks you can change the style of the text box. By default is circle but you can always change it. Uh, to use um, any of the presets you just have to uncheck the style that you don't want to use and to check the style that you want to use only. Uh, let me show you how. Uh, just uncheck the circle checkbox, um, choose the style that you want and check its checkbox. Now, for example, I will choose this one. Uh, you can use uh, text only by choosing this one or um, if you want to remove the text at all, just uncheck everything and that's it. Uh, here are some uh, other features of the project. This time I'm gonna show you how to change the parallax shape. Uh, you need to know that uh, the default uh, parallax shape uh, in the project is uh, global and uh, is set to circle. Uh, global shape uh, means if global checkbox uh, is on, you only need to select the desired shape in the global shape selector and this shape will be applied to all of the scenes. You can uh, always edit it with just a few clicks of course. Uh, let me show you how to do this now. Uh, go to main composition called custom parallax promo toolkit and here you will find uh, the layer named global shape selector. Uh, click on this layer and open the effect controls if it's not opened. So here uh, we have two main checkboxes. The first is uh, global shape. Um, the second is new custom uh, shape for each scene. Uh, as you can see by default global shape is checked. Mm, as I said um, when this checkbox is checked every scene from the beginning to the end of the project will use the shape that you selected in the global shape selector for um, each scene. Uh, this uniform or uh, global shape can be changed very easily. Uh, you just have to expand one of uh, one of the effects uh, below new custom shape layer. Uh, as I said, by default is circle, but um, if you want to change it, you can um, use some of the presets in the project or you can uh, put your custom shape. To use any of the presets, you just uh, have to uncheck the um, shape that you don't want to use and to check the shape uh, that you want to, to use only. Uh, for example, I will choose this one uh, and check the circle checkbox and check the desired preset checkbox or uh, any other from the list. If you want to put your uh, custom shape like uh, your logo, leather or something else, uh, you just have to uncheck all of the other checkboxes except global shape and uh, check global custom shape, which is at the bottom. Uh, by default, this shape is blank. Uh, after that, double click on the global custom shape layer in the custom parallax promo toolkit composition and place your shape here. Uh, you can import the file by uh, going to file, import file and browse for your uh, file. Um, and then you just have to drag and drop uh, your full uh, your file to global custom shape composition uh, and that's it now the project is using your shape for all of the scenes uh, a quick tip here uh, is that you don't need to use file with alpha channel the project is set to recognize the edges of your uh, shape or logo if it's on a white background but um, you have to know that is, uh, if there is uh, white elements somewhere in the shape, these elements will be masked too. Uh, in other words, um, when you put your file here, white color acts like alpha. Of course, for best results, uh, just use files with alpha channel. Uh, you can also draw a shape in After Effects directly like uh, this or maybe better. Um, let's check how it looks with it. 
Okay, fine. Um, or uh, you can write a letter to be your custom shape. Uh, or you can animate the existing shape or the custom shape. It's um, all up to you and your imagination. So um, that's uh, all about the global shape. Uh, the next step is um, custom shape for each scene, which means that you can um, use different shapes for every scene in the project. Um, and you can achieve interesting uh, results um, using this method. Um, check this quick example where I'm using a uh, new letter for um, every scene, which is kind of interesting if you want to write your uh, company name or something like this. So the method of doing this is uh, similar, but uh, this time we have to uncheck the global shape checkbox and uh, to check new custom shape for each layer. This enables the option to pick up a um, custom shape for each scene. And this time uh, we just have to go to the scene for that we just want to change the shape. For example, um, I'll choose this scene. And here you will find the familiar structure with um, the layers that you saw before. Um, so this time uh, we will need uh, the layer named Parallax Shape Selector. Open it and go to Effect Controls. Uh, it looks like a global shape selector, but uh, this checkboxes affects on the uh, shape of the scene that you are editing only. By default is Circle. Again, you can choose one of the presets or you can add your uh, custom shape for this scene. Uh, to change it to custom shape, this time uncheck everything else and check custom shape. Then double click on the custom shape layer in the scene composition. Uh, this will open the custom shape comp for uh, the exact scene that you are editing and you can uh, put your custom shape for uh, that scene here. Or of course, um, you can select one of the other custom shape presets in the composition. And now this uh, scene is using the chosen shape. And with um, this, you can achieve interesting results uh, like the video I showed you a little bit earlier. So uh, we also have uh, visual controls in the main composition. Uh, to use it, go to custom parallax promo toolkit and select uh, the visual controls layer. Here you will find uh, very useful features. Uh, the first is blur. Uh, when you move the slider, it affects on the blurness of the layers in depth, but keeps the center clear and sharp. Shadow intensity affects on the drop shadows between the layers. Inner glow affects on the inner glow of the layers. Um, this effect desaturates the colors of um, the layers in depth exposure change, the exposure of the layers in depth, um, particles intensity change, the intensity of the particles in depth, um, particles blur acts like uh, depth of field but affects uh, on the particles only. Uh, old film uh, effect intensity affects on the intensity of the old film effect included in the project. Um, Light leaks intensity affects on the um, light leaks intensity. Uh, by default, this um, value is uh, 35. Uh, vignette intensity makes the vignette stronger or weaker. Uh, parallax window edges blur. Uh, this is very interesting and useful too. Uh, this blurs the edges of the layers in depth, uh, which makes the parallax effect more natural. Uh, grain checkbox adds a uh, film grain, but uh, increases the render time a bit. And finally, particles type. Um, if you noticed, uh, there are uh, tiny dust uh, particles in every scene, uh, and they are the same particles on which you can control the intensity from uh, visual controls layer uh, with uh, particles intensity slider. 
uh, these particles bring depth uh, into the scene and by uh, default the particles are set to dust. At this moment there are four different particles. Uh, dust, rain, snow and uh, custom particles. If you want to change uh, the particles from dust to rain, uncheck dust and check rain. Uh, the same is valid for snow and their um, option where you can put your custom particles there. If you want to use uh, that option, select the particles layer, uh, particles type layer and uh, uncheck everything except custom particles in effect controls. Uh, after that double click on the custom particles uh, layer from the uh, custom parallax promo toolkit composition and put your uh, particle layers here. Um, if you can use a video or images, you can use uh, whatever you want. Just feel free to make some experiments. Uh, so uh, for future uh, updates, I have plans to add some custom particles like sparks, maybe bigger snowflakes, falling, I don't know, debris or something. Um, we'll see. Uh, okay, uh, that's all folks. Thanks for watching and I hope that you like my working style.